This is Paul Wexler, and you're listening to No Good Music. So, Paul, uh, you brought up your father. I want to, uh, if we could, talk a little bit about your father. And for our listeners, um, if you don't know, Paul's father was Jerry Wexler. It's a huge part of music history. He was a partner at Atlantic Records. He helped discover Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin, Led Zeppelin. And most he of all... He did sign Led Zeppelin. What was that? He signed, yeah. He did sign Led Zeppelin. And also he, incredibly, he came up, he coined the term rhythm and blues, your father. That is correct. Well, you know, in the 40s, the what we call the rhythm and blues charts now were known as the race charts. And they called okay. these records race records. And at a certain point after World War II, that began to have a, an odor that was a little unpleasant. Mm -hmm. And uh, the editor of Billboard, where my father worked at the time, he was a writer for Billboard, um, Paul Ackerman, who I was named after, said, we have to change the name of the chart. Mm -hmm. And my father just came up with it. Well, how about rhythm and blues? And wow. I guess it stuck. <laughs> wow. Nice. So I, I imagine so, your father was a so huge influence on uh, you stepping into the, you know, music industry, the recording industry. Well, you know, the, the truth is, is that he was grooming my sister, my older sister, Anita, for the business. He wasn't really grooming me, although being mm -hmm. around him was a form of, of, of trained. And just listening to him talk about music, he would play music all the time in the house. He would come home with the work from Atlantic and be checking it all the time. I mean, I remember when he came back from Muscle Shoals with a test cut, they used to call acetates, mm -hmm. um, of uh, Ever Loved a Man, the very first Aretha Franklin record. It was the wow. first time I'd ever heard Aretha Franklin because I hadn't listened to her Columbia stuff or her gospel stuff before that. And I was completely shocked by the record. I was, I was stunned by the record. And, uh, I'll give you another example of this. When I was um, very young, in you know, elementary school, they had folk singers come by and and play and like a lot of folky material, you know, for for us kids. And one of the songs played was "Down in the Valley." And a few years after I heard this, my father cut a version of "Down in the Valley" with Solomon Burke. It's a great record. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember thinking, "Oh, this is what my dad did. He makes these songs that are pretty good." <laughs> really good 